before you do the intro, you're gonna wanna warm up your vocal cords with some <laughs> word exercises. <laughs> so repeat after me. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do, do we want to sign in, slide into you doing the, um... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, first, first, you, Freddy, I'd like to be taken out to dinner before you just go sliding <laughs> into me. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Seven. Red, yeah, da. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, I mean, it's been, uh... Pause. <laughs> Start again, yeah. Uh, fair enough. I'm just gonna picture everyone naked. Weird. We're not gonna get anywhere with this, are we? <laughs> so we need a nice big, you know, woolly mammoth to get that in there. But, I'm so you know, sorry, God. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> no, you just. Oh, I just. Was just so <laughs> I was in the zone. I was going for it. And oh. <laughs> You weren't gonna say furry after. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> 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 you bastard! <laughs> oh god, I'm crying! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Did I die? Oh, you <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved with Pommy Gamer. Now the more eagle eyed viewers would have noticed that I am not Pommy Gamer. The uh, legend is sitting next to me right now because as a nice little birthday present he's let me do the intro for this episode. So, how you doing, mate? Yeah, pretty good, man. Had a pretty chilled afternoon, and looking forward to seeing what you've got planned for this episode. Yeah, he also let me direct this one as well, so this will be interesting. Uh, the main thing we want to do uh, for this episode is that we need to find a replacement mammoth. Now, several episodes ago, I don't know if everyone remembers Wilma. Uh, she sadly was taken from us by an evil Argentavis that usually knock around here so we need a replacement because resource gathering is becoming such a pain you know we have to keep running backwards and forwards whereas if you have a mammoth just get everything done all in one go but we have also have a problem that we need to solve and that is the amount of engrams you have how many have you got right now uh 58 <laughs> And we're going to want to do some of the water stuff later, so we need scuba gear and things like that. And 58 is not going to cut it. So we need to create, what was it called? Was it Mind Wipe Tonic? Yeah. Bas to reset everything? Basically a massive hangover. <laughs> You're used to one of those, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. But the main things you need for that are rare mushrooms and rare flowers. And as the name suggests, they are fairly rare. But we do know of two places uh, to get them. The mushrooms you or you can find when either mining crystal, but that's you know a random rare drop. But if you head down to the swamp and you start cutting down some trees, apparently you can pick some up there. So I'm going to try and do that at some point. And the other half is rare flowers. Now apparently they get dropped by the flowers that you find at the top of the mountain. And we did this before when we tried to get the plant species X for our battleship. So that'll probably be the easiest one to start off with. Yeah, so. the the, uh, the pretty red ones that you find, right? Oh yeah, yeah, those ones. Usually right at the very top. So we'll see if we can find those. Um, now I've got tornado because obviously we're going to do a bit of flying. But you have decided to bring out our old friend Hopkins. Yeah, well I was just thinking we uh. We take the flyers around quite a bit, and the other dinos don't really get a look in much, so I figured as soon as we're going down to the swamp, uh, I'll take Hopkins out and, uh, yeah, just play around with him and see how he does. Yeah, basically take him back home. Yeah, pretty really. much, yeah. Yeah. 
Cool. Right. So we're going to start off by going to get those ingredients first. Uh, what we'll do is we'll bring you back when you know we've started finding them. Speak to you in a bit. Welcome back, everyone. And we have just arrived down at the swamp because we're going to try and pick up the rare mushrooms by harvesting some of these trees. Now, that sounds easy, but based on what kind of creatures, all great and small, live down here, it's actually going to be quite dangerous. Because you've got the snakes, raptors, frogs, and some of the other dangerous things. So, and piranhas. There, there's one. There's one swimming right now. So, how do, we, how do you want to tackle this, then? Kamikaze! Like that, apparently, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So, right, off we go. Let's see if this is actually. Oh, true I didn't right. bring my um. I have my hatchet. Oh, I got one. It works with the picks. Did you? Yeah, rare mushrooms oh, straight perfect. away. Two cool. rare mushrooms. There we go. Right, so it's act. This is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Destroy the mangrove forest, which I don't think Greenpeace are going to be particularly happy with, but he respawns. It's fine. How many do we, we need? Yeah. Um, I think it was about 20, but let's just be on the safe side. Now, if you're going to do this solo, you've really got to keep your wits about you because, like I said, there are some pretty nasty things around down here. Like, just off to my right, I've, I can see about three Sarkos, Titan Boas, and there's... Uh, oh, look, Dillos. So, yeah, you don't want to stay here for any longer than you have to. Welcome back, everyone. So, we're now on part two of our little mind wipe adventure, and we need to go and pick some of those rare flowers. Now, as I said earlier, uh, you can usually find them up the top of the mountains. So, that's what we decided to do. We've come up here with Chocobo and Tornado. We decided to leave Hopkins down there because he's, you know, this is not his forte and come up here and we found a nice big collection of them but there is a slight problem uh, and that is we are right in the heart of Giga ten territory this is roughly where we um, found Gigabyte before so uh, we don't want to linger here any longer than we have to and let's not forget there's also the other stuff that's up here Sabres, T-Rexes Right now, we're fine. I'm keeping a lookout while <laughs> Pommy goes and does his thing. I play bait. I've I've got one red flower already. Already? How many? Uh, maybe they're not as common as we thought. No, they they're extremely rare. The um the mushrooms oh. are rare as well out of the crystal, but not where we were down in the swamps. They've become quite common down there now. But mm. I don't think there's anywhere else you can get these rare flowers. And unfortunately, you get a load of garbo along with it, so... Hmm. Looks like we might be having to fly around quite a fair bit by the sounds of it, then. Yeah, so we've only got five back of base. This is six now, and we need uh, 20 in total for the potion. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little mosey around, see if we can find some more of these flowers. Uh, we'll come back once we've got enough. See you in a bit. Welcome back everyone. So we managed to find all of the necessary flowers up on the top of the mountain. It took a little bit of a while because as the name suggests they are pretty rare but we now have them all. Now the ingredients you need for this mind wipe tonic uh, are 24 cooked prime meat, 200 measure berries, 72 narcotics, 72 stimulants, 20 rare mushrooms and 20 rare flowers. And we've got all of that, and it should all be in the pot. Uh, need the recipe, don't you? Have you got that? Nah. Ah. So, there we go. In the bookcase, we have one already. Ow. If you don't step in the fire. So, I've just put the recipe into the cooking pot now. Let's see... Ah, and we need water as well. Yeah. We do. I've got water. Cool. Right. How does it look? 
be sure to have the water skin. So fingers crossed that should create the tonic. He says with a lot of doubt in his voice. How long do you reckon it usually takes? A fair amount of time, I'm guessing. Hmm. We do have everything that it says on there. Boom! Ah, there we go. One mind wipe tonic. So just put that out right so if I read the description it says drink this tonic to forget everything you have learnt okay so what we're gonna do is if you want to just uh, step out of the kitchen if you don't mind sure yeah we have no idea what's gonna happen so I have Jane here and the pistol so if you go mental we're gonna have to take you out <laughs> so uh, I'm currently level 73 uh, I have 58 Ingram points to apply and what this should do is reset my character's base stats to if I was a level 1 and then I will then have to level up my character again uh, by going through and applying stuff. Now I've taken note of these uh, stats here and I think what I'm going to do differently is actually pump some stuff a little bit differently this time. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put more into weight because at this moment in time we're doing a lot of building work and we can always benefit from weight. So I'm going to probably take that up to around 450. Um, oxygen I don't need too much of because we're going to be getting scuba gear soon. So I'm probably not going to put any points into that. Stamina is always worthwhile to have. Um, melee damage probably going to reduce the amount I have uh, because typically we have a lot of dinos and we use that. Probably pump some more um, stats into fortitude. So here we go Freddy. All right. Da -da! And Aww. it's removed okay. all of my engrams, and I'm now a level one. Aww. I was expecting something spectacular, like you passing out or going <laughs> through a rage. Yeah, it's just some sort of trippy stuff. Mm. Cool. All right then. So the first thing first, let's uh, start leveling up. So I'm gonna pick uh, weight. I'm gonna take that up to 450. Yeah. Even your um your number against your name revert back to the one as well mm. so you made it back to a rookie again it's alright Jane you don't need to kill him ok so that's that that's health and stamina I'm going to take to 200 again how many Angram points have you got now? Uh, oh. almost, almost close to a thousand ooh nice actually I took health to 300 but that's fine uh, stamina, I'm going to take to 200. Level 66. Fortitude, I'm going to take up to 20. Oh, but that's it. <laughs> I hit that's my level. It, so that's cool. your fortitude was 20? Uh, so no, my fortitude's 14 at the moment. So what I did, I've, I've moved um, stats into health, 300 health, stamina 200, Everything else I've pretty much kept the same, including my melee damage. I didn't put any points into that. 450 directly into weight. Um, and away we go. So we're now at level 72, uh, sorry, 73. Uh, mm -hmm. And I have 1,634 income points to spend. <laughs> so that's uh, super handy because now it means we can get into some of the really cool gear that's been added recently. Um, especially when we hit the levels, we've got the, uh, the scuba gear which requires us to be level 75 we've got the industrial forge uh, and the industrial cooker which uh, respectively require us to be level 80 and level 85 so um, we're getting close to those but we've also got the ghillie suit uh, which should be a new item we can learn um, providing we learn all of the base items for it which I believe are going to include all of the hide boots yep but they look pretty cool so we might have to have a play around with that that's fairly low down on the tech tree though, so that's not going to impact your engrams too much. Yeah, yeah. so we're just going to be very more selective about what we spend uh, the points on basically. Uh, work out what 
each of us have learned individually and um, just basically just take it from there. Excellent. Right then. How do you feel? Any side effects? Are you feeling drowsy? I mean, you look alright. <laughs> Moderate violence. <laughs> cool. Alright then. Right, we need to go off and prepare for the next part where we go and tame our replacement mammoth. See you guys in a sec. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to part two of our little adventure. Um, we're now on the hunt for a big woolly mammoth. Now, we're going to try and find one that's got a high enough level, around about 20 or so, because that way you get some nice levels when you do tame them, and it, you don't have to do as much work on them. So we're going to have a little fly around, mainly around Blue Tower, because that's obviously where they spawn, and uh, see if we can find one. Rock and roll. Right then. Let's have a... Do a sortie. Yeah. There's one down there. What level are you? I've got my spyglass with me. 26. Female. <coughs> that was easy. <laughs> is that? <laughs> well, that never happens. Um, is, that the one, is that one directly in yeah, front of us? Directly ahead, okay. going into the tree line. Do you want to grab her with uh, Ragnarok and we'll take her back to base? Yep. Okie doke. Yeah. Where are you? Male or female, was it? Female. Pink. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the carrying power of Ragnar. Yeah, this is like... I'm now like... I feel like I'm doing a bomber escort. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to fly ahead and just make sure all the dinos are set to passive. Yes, especially Gigabyte. <laughs> she's she's going to see this as a tasty snack. Yeah, yeah. Um, it shouldn't aggro when you drop them, but I think it's... Um, obviously, when we hit them, uh, it's going to start aggroing. But yeah, if you want to drop a kind of... Just away from everyone else, um, I'm just going to start going in and... Whistling passive. Right next to you, Gigabyte, definitely. <laughs> right next to Lily and Mr. T. I don't know how big the range is on the passive whistle, but I'm not going to take any chances. Yeah, I'd loop, loop over our, um, the walls. And yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, you're coming in for a land. Coming in for a hot transfer. Okay, right. And Chocobo is passive. Okay, the moment I drop him, I'm going to go straight at Mo. Yeah, and just make sure you. You're right. Yeah, and you just make sure you whistle passive as well, because I don't know if I've got Ragnarok. All right, ready. Yep, go for it. Cool. No, he's just chilling. That's good. Or she. Okay, do. If you want to. Right. Take a landing, and we can kite this thing together. So I've got my uh, my rifle with some trank darts, and this should hopefully drop her a bit quicker. We've already gathered up, um, I think it was about 400 medjo berries. Unfortunately we don't have any raptor eggs um, at the moment so we couldn't make any kibble. That's the uh, preferred kibble of the um, the mammoth. She's beautiful. Some nice colours in her. That was a good spot. Alright, here we go. I'm going to start tranking to the face. Pew! Oh, she'd be mad. Pew. And the advantage of doing it in our base, obviously, is, um, you know, we can kite around. We've got no other dinos that are going to attack when it's downed. She's getting a mm. bit close to me. Oh, well, you can't sprint when you're reloading. That's something I didn't realise. Do you realize. want me to take... You alright? Do you want me to take the heat? No, I'm alright. I can stay ahead of her. And it's good, because like, it's giving me time to put some torpor into her. Sprint away a bit. Another one in the face. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good girl. Right, so make sure we don't hit her anymore because we don't want to lose any taming effectiveness. I shall run and get the berries. I shall go and grab some narcotics. Yeah, just to be sure. I don't know. I don't think we're going to need them. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, but it's better safe than sorry. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to put a huge load on her. Yeah, we shouldn't need Points. to use them unless in case it becomes really apparent that we're losing the torpor. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, we've got six stacks, almost 600. That should be more than enough. It's been a while since we tamed a veggie. Yeah, but some of the easier ones that you could tame. Provided you it is obviously going to be a lot easier inside here. That's for sure. So let's see. When you drop them on. Plus 12, if we're lucky. That's pretty good. Yeah. What was Wilma at? Wilma was our previous... Um, mammoth. I, I can't remember. Perhaps someone in the comments will let us know what level uh, Wilma tamed out at and what her base level was. I think, I've got a feeling this one's going to be higher, um, which is pretty good. Mm. We've been needing a big carrier. As well, Jane is helpful. Yeah. She, can't exa she doesn't have the same weight capacity as one of these guys. Sweet. Right then. I guess we'll come back to you guys once we're pretty close to taming. See you in a bit. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're mid-tame at the moment, but in his boredom, Pommy decided to run off and get his own mammoth. Now, this one is a level 22 male, which means that our one we're taming up at the moment will be mate-boosted, and if we're lucky, we can get baby mammoths. It will be cool. Well, first things first. Yeah. Yeah, I want to kind of lure Sorry. this guy away from her when I'm t when I'm tranking because <laughs> I don't want this thing being mate boosted on me. Oh no! Oh. How many? Oh, that hurt. Did he just pump you? Yeah. All right. I mean, it took eight trank arrows to take out our level. 26. Six, yeah, level 26 female, so hopefully he won't oh. pick up. Oof! Saw that. <laughs> I was reloading. So, yeah, so you should be about the same, maybe. Take this guy out. When you're using the measure berries to tame up, it does take a long time. Because they're he's very small increments, but. He's down. I'll see? Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to come Good. and steal some of those mejos. Yeah. We got several hundred on her at the moment, so she probably won't go through all of them. It's gonna take 250. Yeah, you can join to grab some narcos as well. That is a good idea. One that. of the benefits of doing it down here in the base is that we can just run to the pharmacy and get some more. Right then, right. So we're about 30 percent on this on this girl. Uh, Pommy's just about to get started on his. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back when, probably when she's ready to be tamed up. Uh, so until then, see you guys in a sec. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now, uh, as you can see, uh, our lady mammoth has already tamed up, topping out at a nice level 37. So we're just waiting on Pommy's boy. Our guess is probably within the next couple of bites he's going to be tamed up. Looking at plus 10 on him. Oh, oh, oh. Now, one more bite one, and we'll get him. Have you thought of a name for him yet? Uh, yeah, I've got a pretty good name lined up. Are you going to... Uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Yeah, I'm... Uh, We've both got names for ours. Yeah, I'm going to keep it, uh, keep it a secret and surprise you. <laughs> oh, I love surprises. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a... I thought you should be take another bite in a sec. Yeah. Hmm? I thought something. I like the colours on both of them. I like the fact they're different. Yeah. Yours is like a was it mottled? Is it mottled? Is that the word? Grey, whitey colour. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a sandy. Yeah. It's almost like sandy brown in this light. Might just be the torch though. Mm. That's got good colours on him. Same for my girl as well. Although she's more of a jet black. Yeah, she topped out as as 37. Unfortunately, lost a uh, lost a level originally, but that's just because of the measure berries and the time that it takes. 
points, but you, on the other hand, looks like you're going to get full out of him. Yeah, I am. Um, hopefully. Oh, I still have one more. Ooh. Tantalizingly oh. close. <laughs> um, yeah, plus 10. Make you fill in for another minute or two. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was plus 11, he's plus 10. Pretty good overall, really, not to lose too many levels. I think it's because we got the measures on them pretty quickly. Um, they didn't take any damage. Uh, so yeah, it's been been a pretty successful uh, tame for both of these guys. And I think uh, uh, we're probably going to split the, um, the strategy on them. I think we're going to pump all weight into the female mammoth. And then, woohoo! Oh, there we go, perfect. And probably just pump uh, weight and melee damage equally into the male. Um, so let's have a look at the stats. Do we do a little stat comparison, Freddy? Yeah, sure. Okay, so health on my guy is just shy of 2,000. Actually, no, t uh, t t tell a lie, 1,190, so <laughs> a bit shy of 2,000. Yeah, 2,210. Okay, pretty good. Uh, Stamina, oxygen, food, we don't really care about. Um, weight, uh, my guy's got 530. 570. Cool. Melee damage, 239.3. Ah, oh, beat me, 232. Ah, okay, so that's pretty cool, and uh, it kind of falls in the line with the uh, the strategy we're going to go for. I'm going to equally pump weight and melee on this guy. Moon mm -hmm. speed is 222.6. Ah, exactly the same. Oh, sweet. Cool, yeah. right. I need to ne name this guy now, so let's uh, change name. And what better name than Prince William? <laughs> oh jeez well, that, that kind of dictates what mine's going to be called <laughs> what are you going to call yours <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we have the royal family of mammoths oh, now we are just so English Yeah, <laughs> Pr Prince Wooly <laughs> right, you have a go at me when I name things but oh come on that's great it's fantastic right. <laughs> right, I'm going to get on this guy so yeah, we got here we go. we've got saddles from the, a couple of drops we picked up a couple of episodes ago, so it's uh, pretty handy because we didn't have to craft any up, and I didn't have to spend any Ingram points. <laughs> Especially after your mind wipe, you don't want to waste those. Yeah, not yet. But they're looking pretty cool. Yeah. We've actually gone up above and beyond what we wanted to do. Perfect. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for today. Actually, Freddy, uh, let me stop you right there, because I've got a little surprise for you. If you would like, oh. if you would like to, uh, now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to turn around and check the inventory of Prince William. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can't see this, but he's got me a birthday cake. <laughs> Happy birthday, mate! So for you guys oh. uh, that. Don't know. It was actually um, Freddie's birthday uh, yesterday, and um, so what better way to celebrate than with a birthday cake and by singing "Happy Birthday to"? And that's all I can sing because of copyright yeah, infringement. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And, um, yeah. So there you go, mate. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as you were. Uh, <laughs> as we oh, I'm confused now. Where were we? Unfortunately, guys, that's it for today's episode. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more Ark Survival Evolved videos. Until the next time, guys, keep calm and level up.